and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we are connecting to the sign of Gemini for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Wherever you have the Gemini placement in your chart, really, you can apply this to. Before we get started, DM my Instagram in the description below. If you'd like a private tarot reading, you can ask whatever question you want. Like this video, please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next. All right, let's get right into it. Again, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. What are you guys going through at this time? Diving to new depths. I'm glad this card fell out because it jumped out and I almost took it, but it didn't fall all the way out, so this is really for you. Diving to new depths. I see you guys definitely exploring new horizons. Okay back on task oh I feel a burst of inspiration uh, a burst of creativity okay that one wanted to come out be insightful and established Let's see. Oops. push to the surface you guys got a lot of like energy, like this is the home stretch. Like I feel like this is the calm before the storm, but like in a really good way where it's like you're about to have a breakthrough. Now all these cards just wanna jump out. Let's see if we can get like one more. One more card for Gemini. One more card for Gemini. What's this going on for Gemini? What does Gemini need to know? All right, I guess this is it. So, let's get into it. So, we have push to the surface and back on task. And then we have diving to new depths and be insightful and established. So let's start with diving to new depths since that's the first one that wanted to jump out. Um, at the bottom of this one, it says there's a deeper meaning to what is happening. You might be looking at this from the surface and missing what's really going on. Take a moment to pause and breathe. Allow yourself to dive deeper into what it is that you're feeling about your current situation. So guys, I feel like you may be staring at a situation with rose colored glasses, you know, like basically saying you may be looking at a situation for only the positives or only the negatives, but it's time to take a deep dive dive into your situation or what you're trying to pursue and make sure it's of your highest and greatest good. Make sure it's what you want. You know, see deeper about the situation, especially if you've been going through something tough, you know, not only seeing both sides of the situation, but also making sure, you know, you're diving to those new depths and you're, um, you know, really translating the situation and seeing like, okay, what's the truth of the matter? Why is this all really happening? Be insightful and established. Yeah, this is about using all of the tools that you learned, using all of the, you know, tactics and things that you've um, gathered and all the tools in your tool belt. Um, ground and rebalance your energy. Bring your awareness into the now rather than allowing it to occupy the past or the future. Yeah, you're being, this is a call to action. You're definitely being called to explore these new depths now and really think through a certain situation. And then back on task, um, be sure what you're using your time, make sure that you're using your time to your best possible manner. You might consider reviewing your goals, your schedule, or a project you're working on. Uh, all could use some fine tuning is what it says. So this is the perfect time to make sure the things that you are, um, you know, focused on are still the things that you want to make sure that your goals um, and the things that you're doing right now are still in alignment with your goals. And then we have push to the surface. Um, you may have become complacent. You might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy. Become aware of the dynamics of your life. So yeah, this is really time to push through. This is really time to push through, Gemini. If you've been working on something, especially from a manifestation standpoint, this is just not the time to give up or to step back or to say, you know what, I need a break. Okay, well, okay, that's a different thing. If you need a break, definitely take a break. <laughs> but this is a really good time for you, Gemini. You really wanna keep going right now. Let's see what we get. Try to push to the surface as much as you can. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, I feel like you guys have a better understanding of what it is you're want or wanting or what it is you're doing right now. Some people are allowing fear to hold them back a little bit, though. Oh, you know what? This is what I'm getting. Honestly, Gemini, so we have the nine of staffs in reverse, the queen of cups in reverse, and the ace of cups in reverse. And with this three of swords in reverse, I, I feel like, Gemini, you may be trying to adjust yourself due to something you've experienced in the past, and it feels romantic to me, okay? I feel like some of you guys are reflecting on a relationship that you've had, and it's almost like you're trying to be perfect for your new person by the standards of what that old person wanted or needed. So it's like you've been through a hard relationship and it didn't work out and you've accepted, okay, this isn't gonna work out, but now you're rebuilding yourself, but not with yourself in mind. With that Ace of Cups, this is about, you know, self, Sometimes when it has to do with, you know, a couple, it can be about union, but with the Queen of Cups right here, this is definitely about self, and it's like you're not putting yourself first, um, you know, really in any regard, and it's due to you kind of living maybe in the past for some of you. That's a message specifically for some of you. With this Nine of Wands in reverse, some of you guys are kind of manifesting, um, you know, a life or things that you don't even want. And that's why the universe is saying, you know, dive to new depths, really analyze, you know, what it is that you're wanting, be insightful and established, use the experiences that you've had in the past to help you get what it is that you want now, get back on task and push to the surface, really push through the situation, not by just becoming the perfect version of your, of, of, you know, what someone else needed from the past but truly becoming the the perfect version of yourself um, and then we have the page of pentacles in reverse and the knight of pentacles upright now in terms of money and career i see you guys really starting to commit to a certain idea so if you're wanting to do something entrepreneurial this is really about um just integrating that masculine energy that's um active um, and you know making a solid plan to go after what it is that you're wanting to do but I do see a progression in terms of money and career so if you've been working on a promotion if you've been working on getting your uh, your money up I, I do see a breakthrough coming through with that so let's see I'm gonna pull from the romance deck and see what the romance deck has to say about loves yeah you guys i feel like you're wanting the real thing but it's like time to get back on task time to get back to yourself because i feel like you want the real thing and that's what you're trying to call towards you but you're going about it by trying to manifest you know something that didn't didn't work out you know i don't know it's just it's just feeling like something is definitely off here gone yeah okay let's see what these are Okay, let me see what we got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have three is a crowd and gone. Three is a crowd and gone. Now, this is some truth serum for some of you. Someone walked away from the situation because it's it's just this energy where you. I don't think you were compatible or they needed to go experience something else. Regardless of the reason, it's a good thing that they did because, you know, you want when someone commits to you, you want to make sure that they want to be there, you know? I don't want someone to commit to me. Why commit if you're not, you know, like the person that I, I need? You know, if you're wondering about other people, go explore that, okay? I do not want you with me thinking about other people. So I feel like some of you guys may have been in a third party situation, even if you don't know. Okay. I just heard that someone left someone without communication and it's because of a third party situation. So only take that if that resonates because that was literally for one Gemini out there. One of you guys have really been wondering, why did this relationship end? Why did they ghost me out of the blue? It's because you were in a third party situation, but they did not reveal that to you. They just kind of dipped out, um, you know, went about their business and that, that was kind of that on that. Now, we have the real thing that you're trying to manifest, someone who is outwardly showing love to you, someone who um, is very active in their, in their like someone, their, um, what is it, romance language? No, love language. <laughs> someone's romance, or oh my goodness, you get it. Someone's love language, okay, is, is very outward. Like, you know, they, they like to 
show love they like physical touch they use words of affirmation they tell you that you're their person how beautiful you are and that you know just someone who's consistent someone who really has that fire energy that desire like fire the real thing someone who wants you and only you and someone who commits to you and the only way to do that is to focus on yourself and I'm not talking about don't worry about love coming through I'm not even talking about in that way I'm not saying don't look for this person but focus on yourself and making sure you're being authentic to yourself because the person who loves you for you can only love you for you if you're loving you for you and being you you know so if you're putting up a facade people can sense that energy too people can sense that energy like you know you ever met someone and it's you knew they were pretending to be nice it's that kind of vibe like people think they're so sly with it like oh i'm i'm being a totally different person than i actually am i'm asking for something totally different than what i want and they think no one can tell people can feel that even energetically you don't have to you know so we have release and simplicity and thriving and gateway yeah this is a gateway if you've been seeing a lot of 11 11 gemini <coughs> this is definite your definitely your message but the thing is let's just start here this is a gateway okay 11 11 is a gateway the thing about a gateway is you have to choose to walk through it you have to make a conscious effort to accept that version of reality you have to make a conscious effort to walk into that the universe isn't going to force you into that that's just a path that you could take um so it's up to you but i just think it's important to be your authentic self gemini and you are going to thrive you're going to thrive but honestly you're special just the way you are you're unique just the way you are you're beautiful and if i could curse up on here i would curse your person out for you because screw whoever told you that you weren't <laughs> the queen the king you are um but we have release um you know honestly so let me see what's going on honestly from this spread i see you know whatever third party energy that we were dealing with before if that's your storyline i'm not getting any indication that they're coming back that doesn't mean that they won't come back but i'm just not getting any indication that they'll they'll come back so you might as well release the situation you know honestly even releasing the situation can make someone come back because simple predator and prey you chase after something you wait for something you know it's it's gonna run away from you so if you release the situation and release that pressure you know that'll um make it so they can naturally come back but we also have some simpli simplicity so it's definitely time to simplify your life and get back to your authentic self let's see what else we get What else does Gemini need to know at this time? Yeah, I feel like you guys are are trying to make yourself um, almost uh, like the perfect version of you for someone else instead of just, you know, being your authentic, true, beautiful self and stand in your own beauty, your own essence. So we have deserving, prosperity, and listen only to love. Let's get into deserving. At the bottom of this card, it says you, like all of God's children, deserve happiness, health, and love. Um, the way these cards are worded, it's like from a God standpoint, but regardless if you um, look to your higher self, you know, source, spirit, the divine, whatever you believe in, you definitely deserve happiness and love. And I feel like you're going to get it, but you deserve this, you know, not um, the version of you that you can create because you think that's the best, you know, or the only version that someone could be attracted to. Um, prosperity. Your actions have resulted in incoming abundance. So honestly, yeah, I was getting, who was I getting this energy from? I forget who it was from. Maybe it was Aquarius, but um, this is a little bit of a test for you guys. Not even though, it just really kind of feels like cause and effect. I think I think it's just time to deep dive, <laughs> to dive deeper into who you really are. And then listen only to love. And then after that point, um, what it is that you've been asking for, what it is that you've been wanting is going to trickle in. Um, yeah, listen only to love. Don't allow fear to distract you from your divine mission. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like you're being called to 
you know, do the things that we've been talking about, whether it's be authentic, whether it's honor yourself, <coughs> you know, don't allow the fear of, you know, not finding love or not being able to attract someone that, you know, wants to be with you for you to hold you back and to keep you, you know, where you are. Let's keep going. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. <clears throat> See if anything else wants to come out. Okay. So we have intuition, foundation and achievements, and material harvest. Those. And then we have emotional withdrawal and heartache and loss. Some of you guys are really stuck on this energy. Of course, every Gemini isn't going through the exact same thing, but some of you guys right now are really in the thick of, you know, what happened to you, whatever that was. Even if it was a job, you put in a lot of work with this job, you really love this job, and they laid you off because of budget cuts or because, you know, their business is struggling to kind of have that comeback. I, I definitely feel that there's an element here, Gemini, where it's like some of you guys are still hurt from the situation. Give yourself as much time as you need to heal, as much time as you need to recoup from the situation but you know don't um don't adjust yourself and change yourself thinking that's the the only healthy changes right if you guys were the problem <laughs> and you know you were the problem okay fair but you know don't compromise who you are to try to attract you know something that was never for you intuitively you guys know that it's time to tap into your intuition so you can hear your thoughts clearly so you can see yourself you know clearly foundation and achievements um this is what i see you guys walking towards i see you guys walking towards a new foundation a solid foundation with someone who loves you with a job that appreciates you and respects you and doesn't make you do everyone else's job for the same pay okay and material harvest i see you you know gathering more materials harvesting i see you um having material abundance in the sense that you're making more money i just see you much more appreciated in the future much more appreciated <clears throat> what we have okay we have the eagle spirit the white raven spirit and the flamingo spirit um at the bottom of the eagle spirit card it says spirit has your back so definitely trust you're supported in this process white raven spirit trust in the magic and the flamingo spirit embrace the in between love yourself for who you are now and continue to strive to be a better version of yourself in the future but this is just about you know <laughs> dog spirit uh be loyal to what you love if you truly love yourself you'll be loyal to yourself and you won't change to a adjust yourself to try to make yourself perfect you know in someone else's image rabbit spirit turkey spirit and the lizard spirit rabbit sp rabbit spirit now is a lucky time so like i was saying gemini you got some abundance coming towards you turkey spirit and give with gratitude and grace and this is about feeding into yourself and giving yourself that same energy that you know um you give to other people lizard spirit dream the world into being i i just don't want to see you guys lose your special sauce i don't want to see you guys you know lose sight of what really matters to you and i don't see that you're going to do that i just see that we're in the thick of this process and it can be difficult but you have abundance coming towards you gemini so yeah, babe, that was your spread. DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like a private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want, okay? Like this video, please subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next. I love you. Be careful what you wish for and I will see you in the next one.